Hey, what's up guys? Captain Zach here. Well, it is July 1st and we are out here looking for some Hallies. So it is very first thing in the morning. We've got a, uh, a low tide turn, which is really favorable. So there's some pretty big tides right now. A lot of water moving and we're doing some deep dropping. So I'm gonna try a couple of deep drops at a favorable spot, kind of a shelf that I know fishes really well on the low tide. And then we may head over and anchor up and, and see if we can pick up some Hallies if we still need them. But uh, should be pretty good. Really excited about this. Gonna just bounce some jigs and uh, hopefully we'll find ourselves some halibut. Bait, the bait's going nuts over there. Jumping out of the water. A little extra weight. Oh, there's, I'm gonna have something here. Oh, that was weak. Unbelievable. Or do you say you had Fish on. Oh, he popped off. Dang it. Well, there's at least one down there. That stinks. That felt decent. What's that? I said that felt decent. Fish on. Oh, he's off again. Dang it. Just can't seem to make it happen here good time right as the tide's turning okay that's a fish but it's not as big of a fish as i had last time okay finally third time's the charm after two swings and misses doing a deep drop here we're in about 270 Tons of bait all over the sonar. My guess is this is a Pacific cod or a chicken howie. Fish on, not very big. You got one? Oh. A double. Fish, Maybe. Fish a cod. Damn, big old cod. <laughs> nice. Okay, two, 280. Boy, we. Right back onto that, off the edge. Now we're 340. But that's not inherently bad. The bottom of that ledge is also where halibut will stage, where you've got sort of bait fish and such flying. Here we go. Okay, well, that's not a barn door, but it's a fish. Almost no chance this is a halibut. No head thumps. Probably a cod. I should say hopefully a cod, as opposed to a rockfish or a sculpin. 360 feet down. The other culprit could be a, uh, an arrow tooth flounder. That's a, that's a, unsatisfying catch by the time you drag that all the way up from 360 feet. Hey, hey another Pacific Cod. Way to go, Zach. Another nice one. 295. You got one? Nice. Fish on. Oh, we almost, yeah, I think we have a double now. I'm on two. <laughs> okay, double. Mine does not feel very big, unfortunately. How's yours feel? Um, there's something decent there, but. Yeah, mine feels pretty light. I wonder if mine's a rockfish. Well, the action's picking up right around the tide, as expected. Hey, we'll take him a dusky rockfish. Nice. Okay. Oh, a sculpin. <laughs> oh. <laughs> big sculpin. That's the biggest sculpin I ever got. Oh, man. That's a lunker sculpin. Okay. <laughs> Wow, <laughs> what a sea monster. 
Oh, you want a picture with your sculpin? Uh, no, that's fine. You sure? Yeah, you can go back. <laughs> okay. Oh, I got the halibut pounder all loaded up with some herring and a nice chunk of squid. That ought to get him. Okay, I'm on the bottom. 264. Well, that first pass was pretty, pretty productive. Nice big cod, big rockfish, and one monster sculpin. Now it's time to, time to find a halibut. Ooh, that looked good. Oh, now I got one too. Something's grabbing it. Here we go, 250, getting just a touch shallower. Fish on. Okay. Let the let the battle begin. You on? No, no. Uh, I feel. Uh, it feels it feels like a cod. It feels heavy, but not not head thumps. We're still right around that low tide turn here. We're getting bites pretty much within 20 or 30 seconds of it hitting the bottom. Ah, it's an arm workout. Should be getting here. There we go. Yep. Exactly. Pacific Cod. Great. Another nice one. Another nice one. Oh, some fish and chips for dinner tonight. Nice work, Zach. Man, you're bringing home the bacon. Yeah, thanks. The tide, the tide gets most of the credit for that action. A lot of water moving through a small spot. Which, as you can imagine, is favorable for stirring up the bait. Getting a little deeper now. We don't have to go too, like, we're getting towards the end of this little shelf, so we'll try a little more here, but as I said that, something touched my jig. I was gonna say, we can always reset to where we just just caught them. But let's give this a, a bit more. I'm, I still think we're in a pretty good spot. Fish on. Nothing too substantial here. Just sort of felt that extra heavy weight just sitting there with the jig in his mouth. And right as it started to drop off there, down to 350. Thought we might get a huge halibut right on that on that ledge. Oh, I think it popped off. Yeah, it just popped off right there. Ah, oh, that's a killer. This is where lines get tangled when we start twisting, and that's. Exactly what's happening right now. We're twisting just, the, the current's figuring itself out. And we're just trying to, trying to stay steady over it. But that can be a magical time, right? As the tide's starting to turn. If you can put up with the hassle of the zigzagging of your line. <clears throat> now it actually, it, We'll see what we do here, but it might settle into that slack low, which would be ideal. Give us a real fishable half hour. I don't know why, but my, my sense is that that was not a halibut. It just nibbled me. It's just mouthing, you know? Yeah. It's like a trout bite or something. <laughs> could, be, could be a flounder. Caught flounder here before. Could also send the chicken slayer down there, the little guy, but at the next spot we might rig up with those. Go for numbers of fish. Fish on. See? Little fish. Probably like a sculpin or something. Let's see. Ah. Oh, withhold judgment. I think there's a little extra weight to him. I was just threatening to leave this spot and try a different spot. And of course, got a bite. Well, if this is a halibut, it's a, it's a sleepy halibut. Oh, it's a little halley. 
<laughs> there we go. It was a sleepy Howley. No big head thumbs, but never complain about catching a halibut. <laughs> I think we'll send him back. You know how. No! Oh. Right back down. Come on. Head in his mouth. Thought it was a decent hook set, but not enough. I had it on for a half a second. <clears throat> That's a pivotal time when a lot of people lose them though. You yank, you get to the top of that yank. You can't slack it. You gotta, it's gotta be a yeah, real- I, I could tell it was top of the yank. I thought I had them on part way through my yank. Yeah, I had it on at the top and then by the time I reeled to the bottom, on. Here we go. Oh, it's probably a little chicken. That's probably why we're swinging and missing. Nibbling at the back of the jig. Oh, this is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous right now. I can't believe this. Bam. Come on. This is like a swing and a miss fest right now. Okay. Looks like he's on there now. Fish on. <laughs> I think that is an energetic halibut. It just kept grabbing at our jigs one after the next. I swung and missed probably two or three times. I think Dave, probably similar. Finally, just buried the hook. You got one? Nice. Double. That's what we're talking about. That was probably a school of halibut down there just attacking our jig every time it hit the ground. This looks like a halibut. Yep. Right as the sun comes out. Very nice. Just put some salmon on that one. Oh, there we go. Boom. That's a little guy. Felt bigger because of the way he was hooked. I think we'll let him swim. Oh, the chicken Halley, there's number two of the double. Well. Three halibut in about four minutes. That's what that was. That was the school of them. And then every time the jig hit the bottom, it was just like one one bite after the next. Then you we miss it because it's a little fish. And then that second it gets right back down, there's already another one on it. Okay. Oh. Fish off. Yeah, that was instant. Yeah, a little better. A little better. He off. Uh, he's off. I was gonna say I wasn't I was having trouble keeping it keeping the tension there, he popped right off. It was instant though. Maybe he'll come back. Pretty much right when it hit the ground, so man, I can't believe that got off. You on? Nice. You caught my fish. Is it a nice one? No. Oh, real tiny one, huh? Oh, that was the, no, I didn't even yank yet. It was a de it's definitely a halibut. Oh, I knew it. It's just. This is getting ridiculous. I'm gonna get the chicken slayer out. This, this keeps up. That's my best guess. This is a school of very tiny fish that are aggressive. I'm guessing you'll get a bite the very second that hits the ground. Like 
two seconds after. Okay, fish on. Let's see if we can keep one on now. Starting to get a little ridiculous with all the swinging and missing. 280 feet down. Like something decent? Uh, maybe a touch better than the first couple. Yeah. Oh, not a bad little chicken. I think we'll let him swim. Definitely ran through a school of chickens there. <clears throat> you got one? Nice. How's he feel? I had to guess, I'd say about the size of the one you just had. Yeah. Let me know when he gets close, I can help you land him. Okay. Ah, oh, nice little chicken. Nice little howly bite. Five, five fish there in a pretty quick window. Now we need to find the school of 40 pounders. Yep, <laughs> here come the nibbles. Must have found our way back over another school of chickens. Yeah, we can get the chicken slayers out. We'll start hooking every one of these. Could also scale down to a seven ouncer, which is like a happy medium. That feels like a little more substantial. Yeah, good. Nice, fish on. I'm trying to make it a double, but I'm swinging and missing. <laughs> we are on a nice little halibut bite here. Almost non-stop bites. A lot of little ones. Yeah, that's looking a little better. Yeah, good. Nice. That's what we're talking about. Better than the, oh yeah, nice. Sounds like a maybe keeper. Love hearing that screaming drag. Do you want me to pull up? I don't think so. Okay. Oh, come on. Fish on. Okay. How's it feel? Uh, look. Oh, he just popped off. It felt actually decent, but. Uh, smaller than yours. Oh, the double became a single. I lost mine, but Dave is still down and tight. And then let me know when you're getting anywhere near and I'll, uh, I'll get the gas. Feel nice. Think he's That's interesting. He's all over the place. He's up. Yeah. Oh yeah. Boom! Nice. <laughs> oh, he just crushed that. Nice fish. Awesome. We ran into a little bigger ones, huh? Yeah, for sure. Nice fish. Okay, fish on. Way to go, Zach. Oh, that took about 30 more seconds. <laughs> I wasn't sure I had anything left on that. I still, I might not have. It might have just been a bear jig dancing around. It's a hot bite right now. 
and it's coming up cattywampus, foul hook. <laughs> A nice chunk of chum salmon right on the end of that jig. That ought to get him. Fish on. Little one. Huh. Another Pacific <laughs> cod. <laughs> Way to go. We could scale down to smaller stuff to be hooking more of these, but if we're targeting some of the larger fish too, then obviously those bigger ones have no problem sucking that whole thing in. Yeah, my next, my next move is a seven ouncer with a nice big fluttering grub and a little piece of squid. Maybe a little scent on that grub. That's gonna be deadly. I just missed one in the most ridiculous way possible. Okay. I, was, I was rigging up my next jig to try and not paying attention to the current jig that was getting completely trampled by a halibut. I guess you should fish in the moment. Fish on. Maybe a little better here. Good. Didn't really go for any runs. Which is a little heavier than those, those other smaller chickens. Boy, it's coming up just real steady. Not a lot of, I wish there were some more head thumbs. But there's medium weight to it, so. Maybe it's just a halibut that's kind of cruising up. That could be a skate, actually. Oh, it's a foul hooked halibut in the side. That's why it felt different. Boy, I'd usually release the size fish, but he got hooked right through the, uh, through the stomach. So that's probably not gonna survive. So I think we're gonna harvest him. Okay, it's a hot bite, they're really aggressive. I'm switching down to a seven ouncer with a nice big grub on the back with just a little piece of squid to flutter. So that'll be a real lightweight streamlined jig. I'll be able to work it real actively and almost certainly trigger a strike. Oh, you got one, nice. I'm standing here talking, you're there catching, uh, catching the Hallies. Fish on. There you go. There we go. A little seven ouncer with the grub. Did the trick. Also hooked kind of funky. That's, that's the third foul hook you had. Wow, that's weird. Check that out. Cra yeah, that's crazy coloration there. Huh. That's neat. I've caught a few piebald halibut before. This is sort of looking like that. Check that out. I'm gonna pull up. Using my injector to shoot a little uh, butt juice halibut scent into the grub. Good job. Really grab that about five feet off the bottom. Good shot. You got one too, nice. Double. A halibut double. That's what it's all about. Yeah, mine feels, mine feels decent. Again, there's a chance, I mean, it, it might've been grabbing at that jig. I might've, might've foul hooked this one again.
Another one hooked, hooked kind of funny. And they're little bullets. Sweet. Here he is. Yes. Oh, nice. I did everything I could to try to release that fish at the boat. <laughs> nice Hallie. You got one? Oh, yeah. Nice. I guess. Sweet. Fish on. Way to go, Zach. Oh, nice. This feels a little better. Good. It's a, still a chicken, but maybe one that's just just a touch bigger than a few of those that we released. Either that or my arms are getting sore from reeling up from 300 feet. <laughs> one, one of the two. Nice little chicken. Oh, well, the wind's picking up, but you know what? You can't beat that. We were just fishing for maybe like three, three and a half hours, right? Uh, around and then after that low tide. And boy, did we hit them. We, we picked up 13 Hallies. Uh, we put four of those in the box and then also like four or five nice cod, a uh, rockfish, and then a monster sculpin as well. So some really, really great action. Uh, just jigging a, a low tide here in Juneau, Alaska. Uh, so after slamming those Hallies this morning, now we're picking up the dungy pods. They've been soaking for about a, a day, day and a half with some pretty decent bait. So hoping to uh, get lucky and score some dungies. Nice, just a keeper. Another keeper. Just another keeper. Okay, well that's looking good. <laughs> One total tank. That is a tank. Bam. Yep, another easy keeper. Realistically, I should put it in a cup of Well, that's not great. Let's mess it up. The rope got in here. Okay. <laughs> another, another sea star. A flounder. And a flounder. And a, <laughs> oh, a little hermit crab. It's tucked way into his shell. Female. Well, that's not it. A bunch of bait. A bunch of bait and a sea star. <laughs> no dungies. Oh, we got off to a fantastic start there. So the first two pots had nothing but keepers. We got three keepers, two keepers, and then uh, went cold from there. So a uh, total of six crabs, one throwback, five keepers, and we're stacking that on top of that awesome, uh, you know, halibut and cod morning. Good stuff. Crabbing near Juneau, Alaska.